Good day, dears. Welcome to your favorite channel, Ivy Mesa. So today we are going to be building another front-end mental challenge. It's called the Bento Grid. This is the this is this is a simple challenge for new buys. It's simple. We'll be using HTML and CSS. So if you're just beginning into HTML and CSS, this is definitely one of the best tools that you can have. Remember, we're going to make it mobile responsive using HTML and CSS only. We're going to make it mobile responsive. So just without wasting your time, let me show let, let me get into my web code editor of choice which is visual studio code so as you can see online 11 i have linked up to style css this is our file that we'll be using for style css and then basically the meta and the links are all provided by the starter pack from find element so what i'm going to do firstly we're going to create some space then i'm going to first of all add a section then i'm going to call this section container then i'm going to give it an aerial label of social blade then i'm going to create another sub div inside we'll give it a class name card then oh, after that we're going to have h1 text then we're going to give them an id social heading then after that i'm going to set a text of social head then let's save a span with the class name text chain x then let's add in another span with class name italic then let's add text inside the italic to faster then let's have it another div in this div i'm going to create spacing i'm going to create another sub div inside with class name image dash wrapper then i'm going to add another image with with the access folder then as well when i'm saying source I'm, I'm i'm referring to where we are going to retrieve this one so it's inside the access folder called images so this is where our image is five stars here they can see right there so this is how i'm directing it to my source then let's have an out text in case the image fails to load then let's add a paragraph text with then i'm going to add another div code div class name card then i'm going to add another, another sub div with class name image wrapper then i'm going to add an image then let's put a source to images illustration multiple forms and also an out text in case the image fails to load we're going to display in instagram icon then after doing that let's come here and there's some h2 text for the h2 text i'm going to have some text inside then let's have a div outside with class name card then let's have h2 text then let's put some text inside then i'm going to get a div with image wrapper same class name then i'm going to create an image then i'm going to set source for the image then i'm going to add an out icon calendar then i'm going to give as a sub div inside with class name card then let's have h2 text with this text social head social to search schedule to social media then i'm going to create another div inside i'm going to call it image wrapper then i'm going to have a source for the image then i'm going to have all text in case we make first load then let's have a sub a paragraph text with this text inside so now i'm just going to add another div with class name card then let's say the div with image wrapper then image source then i'm going to add another out text then h3 text grow followers with non-stop content so now i'm going to put another div with class name card again then let's have a div inside with with h4 text 54 percent then a paragraph text and then let's have a div outside with class name image wrapper then let's have an image again called illustration audience in the format webp then let's have our text in case the image fails to load so now i'm going to create another div which one i'll call it i'll put it class name card again then i'm going to have a span and some h3 text there you can see then i'm going to put in quicker then let's have a div then let's have image wrapper then i'm going to put another image then i'm going to give it a source then i'm going to give it out and create a post icon then i'm going to put another div with class name card then h3 text then let's have right cont greater content using ai then let's have a div with class name image wrapper then uh, we're going to put another image wrapper image source called assets images so now i'm going to put another text out text me messages with icon ai icon just in case the image or image first to load now let's go on for the footer outside this section so if possible you can just to mean you can you can you can try to to minimize some of the work that you were doing right at the top there 
to make sure that you don't get confused okay let's minimize another div so most of the divs are called div class card so as they can see now i'm going to add a div called class class attribution then i'm going to add a paragraph check challenge by then i'm going to add an ref this is where you are going to get a url then i'm going to set it to front end mental challenge then i'm going to say coded by my hash hash href let's put hash for that it directly. directly then i can just write off my name so now there so this is how you have done the html coding for the project so now we are going to go on to the css but before we go on to css styling let's make sure to see what is going on inside our browser so to view everything let's click on live then this will go on to our our browser they can see so this is how i have it inside html but you can see that it's not yet taking shape because obviously i need to style it so now is the time to go inside our code and go into the file css style css file and this is where we are going to put on all the styling Okay, so there's, let's come inside our style CSS file. You can see that I've been given these root files, which I'll be referring to when I'm styling. Like for example, the color codes they've been for black, white, yellow, and some spacing. So with let's get on to. So I'm going to start off start off by saying start before and after. I'm going to say that border, border boxing to box sizing to border box. Then I'm going to say for everything margin zero and padding zero. So if you come here and check inside our oh, so you can see that the margin and the padding have been set to zero zero so now i'm going to put a body font family and position relative and then i'm going to set image i'm going to set maximum width of 100 percent they can see now i'm going to say footer i'm going to give it a background color of the attribution i'm going to give font size of eight eight text align center position relatives in border bottom 15 pixels then i'm going to set a color of black in attribution i'm going to give it hyperlinks i'm going to give it a color color and position relatives in front weight 600 text recognition to none and a z index of one so if i come there and i check a look at my footer they can see the footer has just changed everything is now it's been centered now i'm going to come in and say transition then i'm going to say text attribution a before content insert percent relative then i'm going to set transform of scale to zero zero then transform origin top then transition then i'm going to give you a z index minus one attribution a over i'm going to give it a color of variable black attribution of then i'm going to give it a transform scale one and then transform origin bottom then i'm going to set it to container then for the container i'm going to give it a background and the display grid in the gap of five a variable five padding then i'm going to set position relatives and then before i go on to setting card i just want to come and take a look they can see the changes that have just happened they can see this background for the container this one right at the top there so now i'm going to give a display flexi flexi direction color then put a radius 0.26 to 5 frames. Then I'm going to give it a card in the end chart of the first div card. I'm going to give it a background of purple, just my sender. Then align items the sender, gap. And then I'm going to give it a padding. And then I'm going to start the H1 text inside with the color white. Then a tint class name with the color variable yellow. Then italic class name, I'm going to give it a font style of italic. Then I'm going to on the image wrapper class name. I'm going to give it a maximum width of 12 frames. Then paragraph text. I'm going to give the margin top of spacing 100. Then before I go on to the seven class name of card, I just want to come and take a look. They can see the styling that we've done there. So this was for the end. Then let's go inside our let's start the second one. I'm going to give a background variable white align item flex start gap. Then padding variable space then image rep i'm going to give it maximum width of 19.75 then the card of the third chart i'm going to give it a background and a gap of padding and 
some some image that I'm going to set it to maximum with 13 rams then maximum height 9,8 rams then if I go on to the fourth chart let me come and look at what you can you can see we are styling now let's go on to the fourth the end fourth so you can see we have got one two three four so we are styling this one let's come back into side our CSS file and let's see the background and the align item center just for right on the center gap and the padding and then image wrapper let's give a maximum width of 22.315 then paragraph text, text align center maximum width 22 rams then for the card in 50 tab i'm going to set a background purple align item center just for right on the center then gap then let's have a padding then for the image wrapper i'm going to give a maximum width of 14.25 rams then s3 text i'm going to give it text align center then color white then maximum width 0, 16 rams then for the card sixth card then in the then let's have a background and a gap padding image wrapper let's give it a maximum width of 11 rams then div paragraph tag i'm going to give it a margin top of 0, 0.98 then card seventh type seventh then let's give it a background of yellow light then align text flexes start just where content center then gap variable spacing then padding variable spacing 400 this italic then font style italic image wrap maximum width 11 rams then card nth child let's have background color gap then let's have a padding spacing variable then image wrapper i'm going to give it a maximum width of 13 rams then each one takes let's say a font size of 8.75 font weight 500 text align center line height let's give it a 6.25 then let us using h2 text i'm going to give it a font size of one frame font weight 500 line height 1.5 then let us facing then let's give h3 text font size two range font weight 500 line height 1.75 then let us facing minus 0, 0.125 then h4 text font size two font weight 500 line height 2.6 let us facing 0, 0.115 let's minus let, let's let's take a look at the progress that we've made okay so this is where we are now let's come back and take a look at the paragraph text font size variable 18 pixels font weight 400 line height 1.25 then so we have done that one now we're not going to media queries to make it our site mobile responsive so whatever what i will do there is that i will come inside so now i'm going to say media queries for a width of greater than or equal to 40 frames let's get container ready grid columns one one then so that that divided into two columns then let's have grid template areas cut cut one cut two cut three then cut seven cut eight then cut first first shout i'm going to give it a grid area of cut one high twin rams then Card second shout. I'm going to give it a grid area of card two, just like on the first between pedi. Then h3 takes maximum width, maximum width of h2 takes 30 rams. Then card end third. Then let's have a grid area and a padding and then h2 takes with maximum width of 15 rams. Then card fourth one for the fourth one grid area. Then let's have for the fifth one, let's set grid area card five, flexi direction row. Then for the hr takes three let's say it takes a line center then for the sixth card let's have a grid area of cut six flex direction row just like on the space between and for the seventh card let's have a grid area of cut seven padding and for the end card eighth card let's say grid area eight then let's start with the h3 text let's give a font size 3 comma 75 frames maximum with 3 m the h2 text font size 1 comma 75 then line height 1,6, then letter spacing minus 0,1, then let's save S3 text, font size 2,5 rams, line height 1,8 rams, letter spacing minus 0,135. So if I do this, let me come and check a look. You can see this is how it looks like. OK, 
okay i need to come back inside and let's say h4 takes phone size 3.375 line at 3 rams letter spacing minus 0.1 lane 1.38 1.28 0.1 lane 1.28 pixels at rams media query greater than or equal to 8 rams let's say it body background maximum width then margin auto container maximum maximum height for the container for on on media query greater than equal to eight rams max maximum height skistic rams then let's say maximum width 75 rams grid column templates repeat four and one then grid template rows two fr 50 pixel one and fr then let's say grid template areas then after that one we're going to have card nth child first height auto then card nth second child or flow hidden then image wrapper then let's say card nth third child card fourth or flow hidden so image wrapper imagine line end then if I, if I if i if i've gone this side you can now see that this is how the direction is taking but we still need to make sure that our challenge is matches up to this one so let's come inside and put some text align left then for the card in the sixth child flex direction column for the card in the child eighth child just write content space between then each one takes font size three four rams line height three comma six rams so if i do this let me come they can see we are lining it but we need to perfect it so that it goes right into the center of our page so what we're going to do we're going to add h2 text font size 2 rams line height 1.7 layer spacing and h3 text font size 2.5 line height layer spacing h4 text font size 3.5 line height 3.7 layer spacing so with this what we have done styling are, incre are incrementing the four the h3 and h2 takes up to h4 takes let's come back into our browser so we need to fix the last issue to make sure that it matches up to the challenge okay from the look of things if i check on my design i can see that i see that by desktop view um, it's not coming up quite so i need to come back inside our code and let's check where we got an error so if i check my okay you can see that this section is closing there not right at the bottom so we need to remove it or you can just simply cut it cut then right at the end there they can see it's supposed to be here so this is it you can just control v and then if we save our changes let's come back and look inside our design then you see so now our design is mobile responsive and just which is that's just is our expectations might be there you can see we have now got a mobile view and then if i test it on responsiveness i just need to do it like this one then let's 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 put our screen to smaller view they can see so there's this was it is i've completed the bento grid challenge from front end mentor if you have got any comments or if you are facing any challenges solving this one please let me know in the comment section so till we meet next time on the next video thank you very much